What's going on? Travis here with the Garage Built Body and uh, about to go over a couple different methods that I've been using within workouts um, for when you're crunched for time. And uh, one of the big things is when you're, when you're doing workouts that are short, what you want to focus in on is high intensity, all right? And something that people often miss when they're doing these short, high intense workouts is that of strength work and power work. People typically uh, bypass that stuff and just go straight into you know, your high intensity uh, interval circuits, different things like that using light weight and body weight, which is fine if your main goal is to burn fat and build conditioning, but if you're somebody that wants to maintain muscle, build muscle, build more strength, build more power, you're gonna wanna implement in some focus, power, and strength work, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that in a very short amount of time um, in workouts you know, that are designed to be short and intense. All right, so a couple different methods that I use um, that I've implemented into my new system, which is the Garage Built Body Training System. I'm gonna go over here, and then what I've done is I've linked up uh, the link to my blog where I've posted up these two um, sample workouts here. I've posted up the movements, so if you have questions about the movements and the progressions and stuff like that, you'll be able to uh, see other videos with these movements on my blog. So let's talk about this. The first setup is what I like to call density acclimation training. And uh, I just have that abbreviated there, DAS. But uh, what this is uh, focused in on doing is helping you maintain muscle, build muscle through volume training. So density training, if you're familiar with what that is. So one of the best ways to train density training is through AMRAP sets. All right, so you can do this in a variety of different ways. The most popular way um, with most density training is like a superset setup. So let's uh, just say you're doing push-ups and pull-ups. So for eight minutes, you do a set of five you know, push-ups, and then you go to pull-ups for five reps, and you just bounce back and forth for that eight minutes. However, with the way I set this stuff up, I like to blend in you know, strength work and power work within these AMRAP sets so you're getting a good mix of different movements and different setups here. So one of the ways that I progress this is if you're somebody that's just starting out, you want to start with a, a shorter period of time. So maybe five minutes. Five minutes would uh, bust you up pretty good. And then once you advance to a higher level, you go up to eight minutes. But keep in mind, you want to keep the intensity high throughout the whole AMRAP set. So Obviously, you'll have a little bit of strategic rest in there, but uh, you know, the more time that you do, the harder it's going to be on your body. So, five to eight minute AMRAP set, and uh, sample setup that I have here is a three movement setup. So, the first movement is just your basic burpee, all right? And traditionally, burpees are used for conditioning, all right? So, typically, you see those in at the end of a workout and you know you're doing higher rep burpees. In this case, our focus is power and explosion. So we're gonna keep the burpees at a lower rep range. We're only doing three reps. And there's actually, you know, you progress the movement. So you start at an easier progression and then you go to a harder progression, obviously. Top level for this burpee is a burpee plus vertical jump. So you hit your normal burpee, then when you pop up, instead of just doing a little tiny jump, you're actually going to explode up with as much power as possible and you're going into a vertical jump. So you're only doing that for three reps. You're keeping that low because our goal isn't mainly on conditioning. It's more on just power. From there, we would blend in more of a strength movement. So for example, I got here kettlebell strict press. All right, so we can either do two kettlebells. We're going a lower rep range with five. If you want to... Uh, mix that up even a little bit more. You can go single arm strict press and you don't have to just use kettlebells, you can use dumbbells as well. But we're keeping it around five reps, five reps. So uh, obviously to increase the intensity on that, you're going to go heavier with the weight that you're using. And then the third movement we're going with here is a body weight variation and it could be any type of movement. For this I got pull-ups. Alright, so 
Obviously, you'd work your pull-up progression. So just to start off at the basic level, it'd just be a regular strict pull-up, chin above the bar. And then if you wanted to progress that up even more, you'd go a chest to bar pull-up. And these are strict pull-ups that we're talking about here. And we're going around five reps. And if you needed to, you can even cut back on the reps a little bit since your main focus is on, is on, is on strength versus you know conditioning because we don't need to work at a high rep range. But that's the basic setup. So you'd set up the clock anywhere from five to eight minutes and you just continuously go through this circuit. And the key is you can rest when you need to, but uh, you want to keep moving through that circuit. And again, the reps are at a lower range. So we're not, you know, beating ourselves up with like 10 rep sets on that. That's not the focus on that. So that's one type of setup that I like to use. Density acclimation training. All right. And as I talked about, you can progress that over time. That's the key. All right. You don't want to be doing the same amount of time every week. You know, um, the perfect setup for this would be, so say week one, you start at five minutes. You know, you come back at week two, stay at the same time of five minutes, but get in more volume overall. So if you got through five rounds in five minutes, next time you do it, you need to shoot for, you know, five and a half rounds, six rounds. So that's your goal. That's how you can progress that and get better with that over time. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the second setup that I wanted to talk about. And this is more focused in on strength work, strict strength work here. And the way we work this, and I, I like to call this strength repeats, all right? So in particular, the way you're gonna set this up is an a awesome interval protocol that I like to use a lot with strength training is every minute on the minute setup, all right? And for this, you can go anywhere from six to eight minutes typically. And uh, again, that's a short amount of time where we're gonna get in a lot of quality work with that. And the key with every minute on the minute training is you're giving yourself strategic rest right there, okay? So the sample that I have here is a strength movement, double kettlebell front squat, all right? So the way to progress that, obviously go heavier with your kettlebells. If you need to regress it, you can go a single kettlebell. If you need to regress it even more, just go body weight. It just depends on your fitness level. But you're gonna keep the rep range very low, so we're gonna be around five reps. So we're working a little bit of strength there. But the, the cool thing with every minute on the minute sets is you go ahead and crank out your set and then you get the remaining amount of the time to rest. So for example, kettlebell front squats here, we're gonna hit five reps real quick, set the weight down, say that, that only takes you 10 seconds, then you get 50 full seconds to rest in between that. All right, and you can progress it depending on your fitness level. So if you want to go heavier with that load, something that's going to obviously push you for that five reps, that's what your focus wants to be on that. But the main thing is, is we're giving ourselves a good amount of rest here so we can work strength. It's not just go, 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 go. And once that eight minutes is up, trust me, you'll have done some good quality work there. All right, another setup I'm going to show here where we can blend in a little bit of strength and power a favorite setup of mine is a push and pull upper body. And uh, the first movement, you do a pull up progression. All right, so maybe regular pull up. And I know pull ups are a problem for a lot of people. So just doing like five reps of pull ups at a time is going to be working strength. All right, but just like with anything else, we can progress these. So first level, pull up, chin above the bar. If we want to progress it, chest to bar pull up. That's going to be working strength with a lot of people. That's a, a higher progression. And then if you wanted to, you can go weighted pull up. All right. And the reps I have listed for this is three to five, three to five. So we're, we're going a little bit lower, but as soon as you got your pull ups done, you would immediately go to an explosive push up variation. All right. So a plyo push up variation. So just a basic clapping push up chest slash slap push up. There's a lot of different variations that, that you can use for this, but your main focus on this isn't to totally cash yourself out and get fatigued. It's to be explosive. And so the reps are kept lower three to five. And the same thing would apply to this. So you get your three to five pull-ups in, then you go right to your uh, plyo push-ups, 
Say that takes you 25, 30 seconds. Then you get the remaining amount of the minute for 30 seconds. But as soon as that top of the minute came back around, then you go right back into your work. Now, another setup that you can use for this last part here is an even and odd minute setup. All right, so if you're having a lot of trouble getting these two movements in within that minute, you can regress the setup. And let's say for the first minute, you got to get your pull-ups in. So you're working your pull-up movements. And then you'd wait until that second minute, the even minute, you do your plyo push-up progressions. All right, and then you just switch back and forth between those movements. So then you can even take a step back further and you can focus in on each of those different movement variations. But that's a great setup. That's, that's a couple different ways you can set that up with the every minute on the minute interval protocol. And that's uh, what I like to call strength repeats. And combining these two together, there are two different types of unique setups that you can use. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're somebody that's time crunched and you got to get in fast workouts, obviously intensity has to be a major key in getting your results because the shorter you work out, the higher the intensity you want it to be. But you don't always want it to be just you know, interval circuits where you're just focusing on conditioning. If you want to build more muscle and uh, get stronger, these are a couple different setups that you can use to get some great results. So, and uh, that, those two right there, I use those within the Garage Built Body training system, new system I just unreleased, uh, or unleashed, I should say. So check that out. Uh, like I said, I linked up a blog post it goes into further details with these two setups here, so check it out below. And as always, keep going 110% ham, live and train aggressive. I'm out.